Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 169. We're going to take what we did last time and go a little further. Remember last time, I saved some of it up here. We were playing with the difference between start and end time and figuring out the differences and doing some custom formatting. That is all fine and good unless you have times greater than 24 hours or you have minutes greater than 60 minutes or seconds greater than 60 seconds in your calculation. What will happen is Excel will kind of do something screwy to you. I want to show you how it works and then some ways to get around it. What I have here is a start time that starts June 27th and an end time June 29th. So it's clearly we're going to go over two days because we're going from 6 a.m. to 9.15. And when you do, like we did before, B minus A, we're going to get 2.135 and all those decimals. The times 24 trick that we did earlier still works. If I take B12 minus A12 times 24, I'm going to get 51 and a quarter hours. Again, it's 50, that's not 51 hours and 25 minutes. It's 51 point two five hours so the point the times 24 thing will still help us where you get burned is if you do the old custom format that we had here and just do hours and minutes and I put the format down here so that you can see it uh, the formatting is going to come back to bite you because it's only calculating hey there's only three hours here because at the end of the day we're going to find out there's two days three hours and 15 minutes and if you leave that formatting there, you're going to get burned because it's, it's not going to factor in the number of days. It's only showing you hours. Two ways to get around that. These new custom formats are what I want to show you. The first one here is the same B12 minus A12. But what we're doing is I'm going into custom, more number formats. And then you'll see that the H here has a bracket around it with minutes and seconds, whereas this H does not. What the bracket is doing, I put a little text box here, any time that the hours are more than 24, the minutes or the seconds are over 60 respectively, what Excel does is it kind of throws the hours into the next bucket or the minutes into the next bucket into, into hours or days or whatever, and it doesn't give you the total picture unless you put these brackets around the H. And what the brackets around the H mean is, hey, count all the hours, don't, you know, don't take the days out of my calculation. Don't take the 48 hours that represent two days in this number and subtract them out like you did here. The bracket says show me all the hours and that'll work. The other way to do it instead of showing all the hours with the bracket is you can use this format here and I've got it written below but we'll bring it up just for fun. D colon H colon MM colon SS and what that's doing is giving me days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So if you, hours and minutes works fine as long as you don't go over 24 and as long as you don't have anything that's over that kicks you know 60 minutes into an hour or 24 hours into a day. As soon as you start going over, you probably want to get in the habit of using these brackets to keep track of all the hours or to go days, hours, minutes, and seconds and pull that together. That's what I wanted to show you in Excel Video 169. We're going to, we're going to make sure we get these formats right. And then uh, stay tuned next time. What I want to do is walk through a way to create this section or this is all one cell with a big old formula that we'll review next time. Thanks for watching.